This is Jamie from Stillmeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in the game Priests of Ra. This is a much older game than the games that I usually talk about, but I played it recently and really enjoyed it. And as you can tell, actually looking at the photos here, this game is very similar to the game Ra. My favorite, I would say my favorite auction game. Uh, Ra is a game, and, and Priests of Ra is also a game, where you are deciding when to bid one of your three bid uh, tokens here on the number of tiles that are currently exposed in the card row. And uh, if you if you win, if you get the best number, then your tile goes to the middle here. You gain all those tiles. You gain the previous token, the previous bidding token that was there, and you flip it over. You can't use it again this round. And at a certain point, you're going to draw a certain number of raw tiles, or a certain number of raw tiles will have been drawn to end the round. And so it's a wonderful game of push your luck where you're, you don't really know exactly when the round is going to end. And so you don't know how long to hang on to your bids uh, because the round could just end and you cannot actually take an auction or not take as many auctions as, as you'd hope to bid on. All of what I've just described is Ra and all the things that I love about Ra are also in Priest of Ra, those things. But Priest of Ra does one other thing that I think is really, really cool. And that has to do with these tokens, these red and blue and, and uh, yellow people tokens that you can see out there. Uh, I believe it's just specific to the people. Uh, I've only played this once. Uh, but these people that come out are the transient tiles in the game. So unlike the buildings, by transient I mean at the end of the round, these tiles are going to go away. Um, but the really cool thing about these, these tiles, so on your turn, generally what you're doing is drawing a token from a bag, drawing a tile from a bag, and placing it in the auction row. Uh, and what I love about these tiles is that they are double-sided. Which is brilliant because you're drawing them from a bag. You don't need them to have a back side on one of them. And they're double-sided with different colors on each side. There isn't a big difference. It's just a color difference. But it matters for set collection. And it means that when you're drawing a tile out of the bag, you have a choice for many of the tiles that you draw. You are choosing which color that tile will be based on which color you put it, at, you put it down in the card row. In the tile row. And this is just a brilliant addition to the game. Uh, it's just a little thing, but giving you a decision point on your turn whenever you're drawing a, a tile, which is generally what you're doing on your turn, giving you a decision point for many of those tiles feels really good. Gives you that little point of decision. Like, do you already have the sets that you need for, say, blue? And so maybe you'll put a blue token out there because you know you don't need it, and maybe this is a particular auction you don't want to win, or do you flip it to the other side because you want that color? And it, it's all about, like, which color do you want or not want, as related to whether or not you do or do not want the the current auction that's that's building up, um, there are definitely unknown variables there because the auction could continue to grow. You uh, but you do know what other players have, so you know what you have. You know what other players have in terms of the tiles that you've acquired so far. But it's a, just a great little decision point, something for me to remember. I think if I ever have a game where I'm drawing tiles out of a bag, that uh, because you're drawing them out of the bag, they they could be double sided. They could give you a choice in a moment where you normally wouldn't have a choice in a game. I love, I really love that addition to Priest of Ra. And now that I've played it, uh, whereas I, I think I like the original Ra better in general, I wish the original Ra had this because it's a really great addition to give players that decision point when they're drawing a uh, a person tile out of the bag. Yeah, that's my favorite mechanism mechanism in Priest of Ra. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you've played Priest of Ra or even Ra, you can comment on Ra as well. Or if you can think of any other game where you're drawing tiles out of the bag and you have a choice as to which side of the tile you're going to put face up. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks.